What is a vitamin? What is a vitamin? Vitamins are the small organic molecules that your body needs in order for it to do what it's supposed to do, but your body can't make these vitamin molecules itself. You kind of got to get them from your diet or somewhere else. The concept of like essential foods for people is something that has been around for a pretty long time. But the idea of these like discrete vitamin molecules is kind of new. We didn't really figure that out until like the last hundred years. A good example of this is scurvy, actually. Scurvy was, has been known about since ancient times, but the name scurvy is somewhat modern. James Lind, back in 1753, conducted what is considered one of the first like rigorous clinical trials of the use of citrus fruit to treat scurvy and proved that citrus fruit could be used to treat and prevent scurvy. However, it wasn't until the 1930s or so that we figured out that it's not just citrus fruit, it's vitamin C, which is very present in citrus fruit. And if you don't have vitamin C, you get scurvy. What makes these things essential is that if you don't have them, you get sick to some degree or another. And while in some cases, your body can make small amounts of these things, it can't always make enough. A good example of this here is vitamin D, where it's not just, it's not coming in from the rays of the sun. Your body absorbs the sunlight and then turns a molecule in your skin into vitamin D eventually. It's kind of the one way that we as humans can photosynthesize, but Unless you're really in the sun like all day, there's a good chance you might not be making enough and that's why it's useful and helpful to get it from your diet. So after hearing that, you might be thinking to yourself, hmm, should I smash this bottle of supplements? No, do not do that. Because as much as we do need vitamins, we can have too much of some of them. Not all of them, but some of them can be toxic. Vitamin D is yet another good example of this one where its usual function is to help your body appropriately use calcium and magnesium and a few other things. If you have too much vitamin D though, then your body starts kind of using them too much and this can disrupt your ability to do other things and it makes your bones not work the way they're supposed to and you can get nausea and headaches and various other kind of issues that come from having too much of this chemical in your body kind of just doing what it would do otherwise and your body not being able to just get rid of it easily. Vitamin C is a little different. Your body has an easier time getting rid of excess vitamin C than it does vitamin D and your body can't make vitamin C at all. So it's a lot harder for you to have too much vitamin C. Beware though, too much of anything is bad for you. So if you're considering adding vitamin supplements to your regimen, consider getting blood work first and finding out what you may or may not need. There's a good chance that you might be getting exactly what you need from what you're eating and you don't actually need to take these pills. The same goes for your pets because animals also need vitamins and they need different ones from us please, please, please consult with your vet. Because for sure, depending upon what they're eating, maybe they need something. But definitely get the testing and the blood work done first. Because while some of them, you can have a little extra and it's not a problem, others, it's toxic. It's actually toxic. So yeah, I hope that was a satisfying answer to that question because the rabbit hole of vitamins is pretty deep where each vitamin has like its own forms and vitamins and they each do kind of slightly different things. But the short answer is that vitamins are these small organic molecules that your body cannot make on its own and will, you will in fact get sick if you don't have enough of them. But yeah, if you have further questions or comments, please feel free to drop them below. I hope you liked this one. If you did, I appreciate it if you hit that like button. And until next time, it's Kim Truly Humbled Under God.